We have fascinating news today. After months of hard work and all kinds of challenges along the way, the wireless Digma Defy is ready for the certification tests. This milestone is critical. Once we pass the certification, we can begin manufacturing. Hoorah! But don't go anywhere. There's much more. Hi, Digmates. It's Dominique. And today, we're going to cover the latest news here at Digma, which includes many colorful surprises. But before we begin, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll never miss a thing. Okay, let's get to it. As I mentioned, getting the wireless Digma Defy ready for certification has been a massive milestone. Not only because of how important it is, but also because of how much work it involves. To be certified, the Digma Defy has to be able to send keystrokes to the computer through all three channels, wired, RF, and Bluetooth. And the battery needs to power the keyboard. That's easier said than done. We've suffered the chip crisis, China's zero COVID strategy, and the complexity of the firmware itself to reach this stage. If you want to know all about that, I recommend watching this other video, but let me give you a couple more examples. As I explained, the keyboard needs a working battery to be tested. Each side of the Digma Defy has a 2,370 milliamp hour battery attached to the RF PCB, where a specific chip is responsible for charging and controlling it. We prepared the firmware, charged the batteries, and turned the keyboard on to confirm they worked. And they did! Yay! Yay! But only for half an hour. Nay. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? But wait! How is it even possible? I mean, we have a lot of LEDs, but those are smartphone-sized batteries. Was something drawing too much power? Were the batteries faulty? Was it the firmware? We tried different batteries and checked how much current was being drawn, and everything seemed alright, so it had to be something related to the firmware. At first, we thought it was misreading the charge of the battery, but after a bit of testing, we realized that the problem was that the chip just stopped charging the battery after 15 minutes. Phew, that was a relief. We made some changes to the firmware and voila! The battery is now charging fully. Another great example of how things can go south quickly has to do with the antennas included in the sides of the keyboard and the neuron. The certification lab in China needs some data from those antenna components. But because we hate doing things the easy way, we used custom components. So we needed to measure the antenna pattern and gain. We had sent the PCBs beforehand to the lab so they could obtain those parameters. However, a shipping logistics center had to close due to COVID, meaning all the packages inside had to be quarantined for two weeks. We're trying to get another set sent to another lab as soon as possible, but like all things, it will take some time. Fortunately, most parts of the certification tests can be carried out without the data from the antennas. Or is it Antony? So, we don't expect significant delays. Okay, but what's next? The next milestone will be passing the certification test, which is expected to be finished about three weeks from today. We've taken a couple more weeks to send the keyboard to certification, but we've made excellent progress both on the firmware and electronics. So we are much more confident about it. For example, we've included a bootloader in our main chips. This has been very complicated and time consuming. But if anything goes wrong during testing, the lab can quickly flash new firmware with a smartphone. No need to send new packages that can be quarantined. However, that doesn't mean that nothing could go wrong. If we needed to change the electronics or the body of the keyboard, the certification would take more time. But we don't expect that to happen. The most important takeaway is that as soon as wireless certification is okay, we'll start manufacturing the Digma Defy. <laughs> and talking about manufacturing, we've already restocked the tenting kits and shipped all pre-orders. So go get yours if you were waiting for it. The link is in the description below. But more importantly, the new batch of Digma Rays has been manufactured and it's on its way to our warehouse. That means we will start shipping pre-orders next week. 
So if you want to grab one with a pre-order discount and save some money, you can get one now. The discount lasts until Sunday, November 6. I must say, this manufacturing batch hasn't been an easy ride. We've made some improvements to the design, like adding a new gray travel case for the Silver Digma Race, which you can buy on our shop too, or including a sound dampening solution to add a bit of thock. Thock, 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 thock. However, the main struggle has been related to the chip shortage. We had to change some components and redo part of the firmware, which delayed production. And we also had to redo all Neuron PCBs because the supplier had used a cheaper, no-name component without telling us. Great. Thanks. We've also been perfecting the new top panel colors until the very last moment, which means they will be shipped a couple of weeks later, just before Black Friday. Wait. Did I just say new colors? What new colors? Yes, Dominique. This time around, we're offering the Digma Race in four new colors. We have Royal Purple, Egyptian Gold, Atlantis Blue, and Daredevil Red. Aren't they beautiful? But that's not all. You can now also combine your silver or black Digma Race with either black or white keycaps and pom pads. If you've pre-ordered your race already and want to change your color combination, don't worry, email us at contact at digma.com and we'll arrange it for you. And talking about new things on our website, we've also launched a new Digma certified refurbished shop where you can enjoy the Digma experience for less. On very rare occasions, our product isn't a perfect fit for someone. And that breaks our hearts because after being returned, that keyboard or tenting kit sits in the corner of our warehouse, sad, unloved, they're not alone though, because that's the same corner where we store those products that don't pass our rigorous quality control. Most of them are disregarded because of minor aesthetic imperfections like a small scratch on the side of the top panel or a speck on the aluminum texture, and they feel rejected, denied love, just because of a tiny thing. So we thought, why not find them a new home? Every Digma certified refurbished is thoroughly inspected, tested, and repackaged to ensure you enjoy the unmatched experience of unboxing a newly forged Digma product. So check them out and save up to 76 bucks. The link again is in the description below. Finally, we've also added the extras for the Digma Defy to our shop. That means you can now get an extra set of keycaps, switches, or palm pads on your Digma Defy, among other things. And they'll have a 10% discount if you get them with your Digma Defy pre-order. Well, and that's all, folks. I hope you like this news more than what's currently on your television. I know I have. And we'll continue to keep you updated in the following weeks. So don't forget to subscribe to our awesome channel and hit the bell icon as well. Have a nice one, and thanks for watching.